What up, what up guys, welcome in today's video. Make sure to give the damn like, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications because you don't want to miss any video. But hey, I feel a little bit tired right now so I will take a pre-workout called Nitroflex. And a little disclaimer, you can't replace a good quality sleep with a pre-workout. Pre-workout gives you just a little bit extra energy but you should have a solid amount of sleep. But I will tell you a little bit more about that. So now I will make a pre-workout and then we will go to the gym to smash a push workout aka chest. Front out, side out, and some tricep, and maybe we'll do some abs, but we will see that. So let's make a pre workout. Okay, guys, cheers. Okay, the gym clothes are on, so now I will search a cap for in the gym because you don't want to mess with your hair while you do while you're training. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the gym. Okay guys, that was for the workout for today, so now we will go home, grab a meal and then I will tell something about sleep, how we can improve it, what it does. Okay, as post-workout we got ourselves 8 grams of cornflakes and 200 grams of milk and we got also a protein bar to get some extra protein in so now I will eat this I will study a bit extra and then I will talk about sleep and what you can do about it okay so we're a bit later and we studied a bit so now it's time to talk about sleep so we'll do this in three steps so the first one is uh, the benefits of a good quality sleep the second one is if you're in need of improving your sleep quality or not or but in general everyone should do it so yes you should try to improve your sleep quality because it have big impact on your life and the third one is the tips and tricks I want to give you guys so we'll start with the first thing and that is the benefits of a good quality sleep so the first of all you will have more energy more energetic so you won't be tired during the day another factor is because you're less tired you will also be less hungry because of a good quality sleep so if you're cutting or on a diet you don't have to struggle about I, I'm constantly hungry so your hungry issues will be lower so the third one is you will be more alert and you won't do stupid things and the fourth and most important one is your recovery will be better and you will be able to hit your workouts quicker after each other and that way you'll be m making more gains so yeah that's our positive things about good quality sleep so everyone should have great quality sleep so now it's time to talk about 
when you're having bad sleep. So first of all, if you can't fall in sleep immediately when you go to bed, so it takes more than 20 minutes, then you obviously have a problem with sleep. Also when you wake up more than once during the night, you have probably a sleep problem. And even if you can't fall asleep immediately afterwards, you definitely have a problem and you have to work on these tips I want to give you guys. So, so the first tip is make sure you have a rhythm and go out of bed at 11 p.m. and wake up at 7 a.m. So that way your body knows when it's 11 p.m. you will have to go to sleep. So that will make it easier for your body to go to sleep mode. The second one is don't eat a big meal before you go in bed. And no, it's not because you will get fat. No, it's about uh, your body will try to digest that big meal and you will feel bloated. And because your body tries to uh, digest that big meal, you can't fall asleep immediately and yes, you will have problems with sleeping. So for that reason, don't eat a big meal before you go to bed because that will affect your sleep. Also, the third tip I want to give you guys is make sure you use your bedroom as a sleep environment and don't use it to play games or do other things. So make sure your bedroom is only to sleep. So if you want to watch a movie or something else, go do it in the living room, do it on the couch so you don't have to connect your sleeping room with watching and busy things. So the fourth tip I want to give you guys is make sure your room is dark. By making your room dark you will be more likely to fall asleep because when it's light your body thinks oh okay we have to stay awake. So for that reason make sure your room is dark. Other things about the environment of your sleep is also important to make sure you have the right temperature of your room. Make sure you have a great bed. Uh, it's up to you if you want a hard bed or a soft bed, no matter what, but try to make your bedroom as, comfort as comfortable as possible so you can sleep well. And the fifth tip and the last one I want to give you guys is make sure you relax before you go to bed. You don't want to be super active before you go to bed, so for that reason try to read a book, meditate, yoga, but do something that calms you down so your heart pace will go down and you will be easily to fall in sleep. So that were the tips to get better sleep. So I want to give you guys one bonus tip and that's if you're still having problems with falling asleep, you have to try melatonin. It's a supplement that improves your sleep. So first of all, you can take it in a pill form. So that's easy, quick and effective. Or you can eat some pineapple before you go to bed because that's also in pineapple. So yeah, that was it. I hope you learned something from this video and you enjoyed it and you will have a better quality sleep. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a damn like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.